I have a new book that has just been released on Amazon that is an ebook that's available for $9.95 and the hard copy will be coming out approximately November the 10th and it will be about $23 also available on Amazon. So please, um, I encourage you to read it. It's very good. Hi, I'm starting this forecast a bit late, a week late for the fourth quarter of 2014 and we've already started seeing major events that are occurring which is the Hong Kong protests, the yellow umbrella protests in Hong Kong which has already started uh, a dramatic start because we're in an eclipse period which is uh, tomorrow, October the 7th there will be a lunar eclipse and it will be more dramatic than normal because it's hitting some other planets, uh, Uranus so we're likely to see more protests and surprising events occur including um, um, maybe some terrorist activity. We just, they was just announced that there was a 6.6 .6 earthquake in China and usually there's more earthquake activity during an eclipse period and we will have a solar eclipse later in the month uh, on October the 23rd but it's going to be a dramatic month because we have a an additional aspect of Mars which is likely to bring in more violence so we've had um, a city near the border of Turkey in Iraq collapse no in Syria collapse today and we are likely to see more activity in Ukraine so I think there will be escalations of war events during this month um, that should be more dramatic so it's going to be uh, an unusual month and I think we've already seen today we've had uh, two down days in the stock market I think we're going to see a market correction that will continue through the month I don't know how deep it's going to be but considering the aspects it could be deeper than normal but I think that with all of the controls that the feds have with the markets that it will be a control drop rather than a panic but uh, under the solar eclipse aspects why we could have a bit of a panic too so I wouldn't be surprised to see that we're going to have more drops again um, so the probabilities of increased war and violence is very high this month that will continue until the end of November and then um, November winds up being dramatic itself too. I think I'll go on to the chart before I continue on with that but Putin's chart is activated, the United States chart is activated, Angela Merkel's as aspects are activated and of course we always have events that have been broiling into the Middle East. Uh, I think the surprise was Hong Kong and uh, the protesters said that the negotiations with the mainland Chinese government is insincere and they're um, angry about that so I don't think we're done with what's happening with Hong Kong um, so let's go on with the um, charts that I'm going to present and uh, get into some more details as I talk about them this is a quick review of the third quarter of the S&P 500 and I took uh, what my predictions were in the third quarter and then overlaid it onto the actual chart at the S&P 500. Notice that there was very little effect on the moon wobble that was in July, but in August we had a short sun square Saturn and we had a major dip in the marketplace, which I thought was interesting notice how strong uh, sun aspects can be to the market and then we had a follow-up of Mars conjunct Saturn which I thought would have impeded the market and it didn't have an effect but when we have a Sun Uranus it definitely seems to be a downer for the market with this I think that was sufficient but notice that at the very end starting on October 1st which was the beginning of a um, Sun opposition Uranus that we had the Hong Kong protests that started uh, September the 27th and we started to see the market drop 
So again, these Sun Uranus, Sun Saturn aspects wind up being very important. Here's a quick picture of what the protests looked like in Hong Kong. It became the umbre umbrella protests, and there was over um, 100,000 people at its peak. And I don't think that these protests are over, but it uh, demonstrates the power of unity of the people and of social media to make a huge impact. I'm anticipating that the world is going to be an upset, including the markets, this month and uh, in part of November. Because we have the eclipse period, we have an unusual Mercury retrograde because it's with the lunar nodes and Mercury is strongly associated with the markets. So I think we're going to have some volatility. And then if you'll notice at the top of the chart, I mark that Mars is out of bounds, which creates erratic behavior and extremes of um, uh, violence and, and uh, attack. So I think we're going to have increases of war most of October and half of November. And then we start having more aspects that with this long-term a uh, five-year Pluto square Uranus becomes exact in December, but as anticipation to that, in November we have a Mars opposition Pluto. That will usually create a peak of activity. And then if we will notice at later part of November, we have Sun conjunct Saturn. Last time we had Sun square Saturn and we had a down um, in the market, so there should be another dip. So I see mostly volatility and an increase of, um, of violence across the world and an increase of war, and we will have to see how this plays out, but it doesn't look good at this point. My thoughts are that I think that we're going to see an increase in violence around the world, and during the eclipse period, many times um, you'll see an increase of earthquakes or volcanic activity. But I definitely think we're going to see more protests and an increase of violence, uh, particularly uh, for the next six weeks. And then we should settle down. But I think this is going to be a bad quarter for the markets because I think we're going to see a lot more instability because of these additional factors that I have marked on this chart. Um, and it really doesn't look better when we get into December because um, then we start having an exact aspect of Pluto square Uranus, but I don't think we'll see that culminate until we get into January. So we'll have to save that for our next uh, um, YouTube Let's go to the next chart. I usually don't show the declinations chart, but since we have a cluster of them this quarter, I thought it would be important to add this extra chart. So the red is the eclipse period, but we have the Mercury, Mercury retrograde with the nodes, which I anticipate is market volatility. But look at the bottom, because I have Mars marked out of bounds, which is an unusual area for it. That's why I'm anticipating extra violence and military activity and protests to continue. And then later on in um, December, we have Mercury and Venus out of bounds. That is why I thought that the markets might continue to be uh, erratic because Mercury seems to be the major ruler of the stock markets and we have additional aspects in um, November, December that will increase that volatility. So I think we're going to see a down period for the markets. With, I don't think we're going to necessarily have a crash, but we're de definitely going to have a controlled um, pullback and it will last for a while. So I would anticipate that we're going to be in negative territory for a while. So with this, I will sign off and wishing you the very best and be extra careful during the eclipse periods because unexpected uh, um, occurrences happen and so we have to anticipate the unanticipated. 
Be careful with your risk taking and realize that we are living in very unusual times and I wish you the best for the fourth quarter.